20 minutes. Right. It's called 20 minutes till pick up, right? Right, that would be the... Yes, <laughs> That's the name of so the thing, that, right? That, so it's 20 minutes. I thought it might be sort of like different though, 20 minutes, and we'll do it for like 25. Well, no, on, on cut some. Do you know, like do some editing? Do you mean that? No, I, no I'm just like, oh, you me being an idiot. <laughs> you know how cheap we are, we wouldn't edit. No, 20 minutes don't pick up. <laughs> well, we wouldn't edit, that's the problem, do you see? So, actually, so there's no, no bloopers? No, well, I'm going to introduce you first. Right. right I'll introduce, so this is Declan Lear. Did you go by Declan Lear or Declan Michael? No, Declan Lear. Declan yeah. Michael Lear is just to make me sound more active. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, you do? Do you put your middle name? Is that your real middle no, name? No, yeah, my real middle name's Michael. My dad's mum is called my, my dad's mum. My mum's dad is called Michael. Your dad, so. If your dad's mum was yeah, called my dad, Michael. I've never met her, so... <laughs> maybe she is called that Michael. That would be awesome. Maybe that's, maybe, that's, maybe that's why I've never met her. <laughs> my, what a big moustache you that's have. The end, right, that's the end, end of the soap opera. <laughs> my dad's mum. What? Uh, yeah. Freeze frame. Yeah. Right? Hey, you've done soap operas, haven't you? Declan's an actor. Heads. If you've never seen De- Declan before, he's a proper actor and, and also a footballer. Footballer, ex, soccer player, ex-footballer. That yeah. career lasted about five minutes. But <laughs> it lasted. It started. What, yeah. What happened? Um, I was playing for Green at Morton, which mm. was my local team, and basically on my debut, I tore my something in my knee, and that was it. Oh, yeah. bless you. Eighteen years of age, done. Yeah. But you're only like what? Twenty-one. Just turned 21. Jesus, I've mm-hmm. got older shoes than you, Declan. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I have like 10 So, Dad, my shoes. brother passed me down. <laughs> <laughs> 21. So, when did you come to LA then? Came out when I was 18. Yeah, but no six way. months after the football ended. Were your parents scared? Uh, my, uh, yeah, the, my mum was. No, yeah. actually, just as my mum, you know, but my dad. I'm with you, Declan's mum. I would be quite scared as my well. My dad was uh, all about it. He was like, you know, it's a great opportunity and go and you can always come home. Oh bless! You know we've got Skype you. now. We've got you know yeah. we've got phones, and it's not like I'm writing letters. You know. I suppose actually it's that be easier f- sometimes with, with arguments it. and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it would not. The whole thing with snail mail was it takes so long to do. You know, your mum's probably more cautious mm-hmm. with having her mother being called Michael. Was probably that was the thing. You know, <laughs> oh, when your, your mum's biggest fear is and, actually sat next to you. And then when I became an actor and and used my mum's. My mum's... I'm so confused by this Michael thing now. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm getting myself no, that dizzy. You know, I'm like... cool. <laughs> Actually, what happened there was that you were in the middle of a domestic. Right. Because he said that your mum's greatest fear was probably is probably sitting right next to you, as in me. Ah. But his mum's greatest fear is probably you, actually, and you're, I'm glad you... Especially some... when he's naked. <laughs> no, he's put some pants on. We thought it was too creepy. Right. Especially um, an elderly man with no pants on. An eld- <laughs> oh, elderly... <laughs> He is if you're only oh. 21. Elderly's quite <laughs> judgmental. Oh, I say elderly if they're over 70. Yeah. Well, you know, in some ways he's over 70. And he's, uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. Do you know what? I've had sinusitis this week and I've been quite thingy. You know, mm-hmm. if you, I don't know if you've had sinusitis, but it's like the creeping death. It's like, oh. I used to have conjunctivitis. Oh, that's up. with the red eye thing. No, that's where you, you wake up and you can't open your eyes. Oh, man. I thought I was dead at first, but I was still unconscious. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. It's, I'm in an Edgar Allan Poe. Then you try and open your eyes and oh, it's all... No, oh, it's yeah. crusty. Yeah, it's all it's crusty. crusty. Yeah. Not caused it. I thought it was the wee bird I'd been with the week before, maybe. Well, like but. this, kind of. <laughs> yeah, well, she spoke a bit as much as that. The wee bird is a, that's a Scottish term. Oh, that's a Scottish term, yeah. An affectionate term for lady. For a lady. For a lady. For friend. a lovely lady a who lady. I took out and wined and dined with her, probably a bottle of Bucky and a fish supper. <laughs> <laughs> here's a clue if she had big red eyes, did she have. Because conjunctivitis, well, I think we call it pink eye in, in, in LA. Do you call it pink eye? I, think I guess it's the same thing, I don't know. No, I don't know. People talk about pink I don't eye. I really know. Well, it is kind of pink eye, isn't it? Is that not when you like fart on a pillow or something? No, why would that be pink eye? Because someone says if you fart That's... on a pillow and someone puts their face on it, you get pink eye. You have to be a, con- what, a contortionist Who... to be able to <laughs> fart on your own pillow. Fart on command. <laughs> 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 on pillows. Hey, I farted my pillow, I'm going to join the circus. I'm untalented, but I can fart on pillows and command and give people pink eye. So that gives them pink eye? Apparently. Well, why don't we try it? Oh, no. Mark? No. 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 <laughs> Mark's the game pick. <laughs> no, no. I've heard of fetishes, but this is, this is, no, not, not this one. So, what I'm going to say is, it's been a difficult week because uh, I had the sinusitis, mm-hmm. right? And uh, and it was the Oscars. And I'm kind of, I'm a bit ambivalent 
about the Oscars. Do you know what ambivalent means? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> 21. <laughs> I do, and I can talk, and I can walk, and I can I'm do. Twenty one, let's go. What? He can look after himself. Yeah, I know, but he's twenty one. So motherly. You're not leaving here today without no, soup. No, you know that. You're I'm going to learn ten new words. So I've got like a reading page to come back with. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so how did you feel about the Oscars? Were you ambivalent? Uh. I, you know, I like it. It's It's got that thing of, yeah, I like it and I don't like it. It's only, it's inspiring in a way. Because yeah. you know, my thing is, if they're on that stage, they've been through some oh, like, total. nonsense yeah. and heartache and the rejection, yeah. you know, they get there. Yeah. But then also sometimes I watch the people on stage and I go, this yeah. look like a bit of a, an idiot. I think that I don't really... I've got a really weird attitude about awards, you know, like mm -hmm. I don't really like award ceremonies, but by the same token, if they said, here, have an Oscar, I'd be like, oh, sure. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> like, because I've got a whole thing with, um, you know, the knighthoods and all mm -hmm. that, that yeah, every year yeah. it comes out, I'm like, oh. Yeah. And then a friend of mine got, did, what was it, Kath got, did she become a dame? I think so, yeah. That friend of hers. What qualifies you to become a... Oh, she just is she properly awesome. Yeah, really? she heads the Edinburgh Festival and she's, she's dead smart. Do you know what I mean? Right. Well, yeah, not yeah, yeah. all smart people get things, but <clears throat> anyway, when they said it, I was like, oh, you got yeah, to get yeah. super excited and a bit jealous yeah, at the I know same what you mean. time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I, I don't... Love... I mean, it's pretty cool if you have a title, though. Yeah, I you know. know. Especially if it's Dame. You can't be a Dame. No, I can't be a not, Dame. Not until you're 30, at least. You can be a Sir. <gasps> Yeah. You know you can buy, I bought uh, for my brother, my brother's not a lord, right, right? but technically he is, because in Scotland you can actually buy land in a certain area, <laughs> and they send you an official letter and you're actually a lord. Wow. Yeah. Of your square so, foot. Yeah. yeah, of your square foot and you get a tree and everything, so technically you're a lord, but it is legal, like you can put it on your passport if you want, you can do everything. I, do you think that's what happened with Donald Trump? Do you think he just bought... He doesn't take... People don't take advantage of it, though. I'd be calling restaurants saying it's Lord Declan coming, you know? Uh, Give me a good yeah. table. I knew somebody who used to use it as a way to get into nightclubs. Or upgrades right. on flights, you yeah. know? I'm a lord or whatever. I'd use it all the time. Well, quite... Especially in America, <laughs> they'd love that. Yeah. Lord Anthony's coming to your nightclub. Can you make sure the VIP suites ready well, the... and get the back door? Well, the last name Laird actually means, you know, owner of land. Mm. So I'd love to be Lord Laird. Lord Laird. I actually... <laughs> <laughs> I went to a party with Peter Lord. Do you know Peter Lord? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to a party with Peter Lord and he was introducing me to people and they were like, oh, are you his wife? And I went, no, 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 I'm not Lady Lord. I'm not Lady, Lady Lord. Lord. I'm, not, I'm like Lynn. Lord. I'm just I'm with not, the Lord. I'm just with Lord, Peter Lord, Lord, who's a very nice man and I'm not his wife. And, uh, and hello to his wife, who couldn't be there and therefore I got to go to the party. I hope you're not his wife. You'd have a big shock. Well, I know. It turned us <laughs> into a whole different, that'd be a real domestic. That's a new <laughs> title. You know, I'm a bit a bit funny about the Oscars because, um, you know, like there was this whole thing with Patricia Arquette. Arquette and, and, the, and the, yeah. And, and what I think when, you know, people are going, oh, Patricia Arquette, you know, the Oscars are not political. She shouldn't be doing mm -hmm. that thing about women. And I'm like, hang on. Mm -hmm. Isn't it the Oscars that every year women get completely decimated for yeah. their shoes, for their hairstyles, yeah. for their dresses? It's yeah. like. The it is totally no, fucking sexist, you're right. right? The guys just put on their yeah, suit and, like, that, and, that, and just walked down G.I. Yeah. Joe and that's it. Although yeah. we saw this one, because we were <laughs> we were skiving yesterday, we were totally skiving, going, yee hey, hey, look at this, I hate the Oscars, so do I, let's look at the coverage, right? So we were... <laughs> and let's watch it, and watch the highlights, I didn't and talk about it. it. I was too busy being, <laughs> I was too busy being bitter, I was yeah. like, oh, the Oscars are on, I'm no fucking... God, you think you're from Scotland? I am. <laughs> That's my middle name, Bitter. Bitter, yeah. But we were looking at the. Who was that guy? Is it Matthew McConaughey? McConaughey, McConaughey Matthew Hemming? Where right, they were doing. Right. They were going hit or miss on mm -hmm. people's clothes and oh, they said right. that he was a miss. You know why? Because he was wearing a waistcoat. <laughs> he was wearing a waistcoat. So a waistcoat is. A, a, is that, is it has, called, it's not called a waistcoat here, is it called a vest? It's called a waistcoat. It's called a waistcoat, yeah. Um, has anyone ever worn a kilt at the Oscars? Oh, I'm sure. I'm I sure. You and McGregor. Sean Connery must have. Sean yeah. Connery must have. I mean, Maybe. I you or you and McGregor might I think, have done I know a lot of people wear kilts at events, but I don't yeah. know if I've ever seen at an Oscars. Would you wear a kilt? If you were getting an Oscar, so. would you wear a kilt? Yeah. 
Mm. Oh, hold on. Ross King was there, wasn't he? He was wearing some kind of mini kilt or something. Oh, I love Ross King. Do you yeah. love Ross King? Ross King. Ross, if you're watching this, mm. thank you. Ross, from the day I landed, was the first person, Scottish person yeah. in Los Angeles that opened his house door to me. Oh, he's a sweet... Yeah. I do... Th I think that there's a kind of... In fact, we've talked about this in, in Chesney as well, that there's a kind of rule of thumb that if Ross King doesn't like it, you're not like him. You're not likable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he actually is like so reasonable yeah. and accepting and yeah. really into people. And he's so good yeah. at like younger people that come out and yeah. making them feel welcome and like it's just so like nice. a properly good guy. Yeah. If he doesn't like you, then you're that's the thing. It's yeah. the Ross King rule of kind of uh, what would you call it? What's the word for it? Now I know you know what ambivalence what means. Come on, I want to know what the word. <laughs> the Ross personality King. test. Well, kind of. The standard of the Ross King thing. I haven't printed out my questions. That's what's worrying me. I've got some... Tw oh, you know what I've got? I've got my well, phone. Well, I, I, I remember one of them yesterday. Oh, you do? From Jack Cook. Uh, do you know Jack Cook? I feel, like, I feel like I know Jack Cook better than I know my own family. Oh, really? Is he a good friend of yours? I've never met him. I, don't, oh, I would know Twitter Jack Cook friends. when I saw him on the street, but he loves tweeting me, which is oh, great. And, he, and he's always Cook got a good bit of, he's got a good bit of banter about oh, him, Oh, he's Jack. funny. And... Uh, I replied with something like, so what did I say? I'd, I'd, oh, wait a I'd, minute, there's these questions. Is it Urban Welsh? It yes, it's yeah, Urban yeah, Welsh. Yeah. And what would you do for an Urban Welsh project? I, I love, Trainspotting's my favourite movie ever. Is it really? Yeah, I love it. And it's it's amazing how just sort of well-known and still relevant that movie is. Just yesterday I was mm. in an audition. I'd done my bit and then after it they went, that was great, that was great. Uh, I've done it in an American accent, and then mm. they were like, you know, this character could be from Scotland as well, so do it in your Scottish accent. And yeah. and they go, and this happens a lot, and just train spotting it, you know, do it more like yeah. train spotty. And I'm like, all right, and it happens all the time. It's yeah. such a point of reference for so many Americans. And I just finished reading uh, Skag Boys, mm. which is the, it's train spotting, but the characters are younger. Yeah. And I just. I love that guy. That's I love what Urban the thing Welsh. was. That's what he was saying. Uh, how many body parts would you sacrifice to be cast in an Irvin Welsh project? And it how was favourited by Irvin Welsh as well. I know, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> how many body parts? I don't know. Depends how many. Depends I suppose how many. you could what's that part of the body you don't really need? That's what I was thinking. What was I it the need? appendix? Do you need your appendix? Do you need your appendix? No, actually, get... I would say my tonsils, but they're already gone. Yeah, mine are gone yeah. too. There's be no tonsils. Except the question... Your gallbladder, isn't that one of them? I think it is your gallbladder, because my you mate... You don't need your gallbladder. You don't need your, your gallbladder? I, I think it's a lot of sort of optional extras. <laughs> <laughs> what is that then? Why don't you need I'll give away one, one kidney. <laughs> there you go. No, don't no, give away no, you your kidney. Kill them You'll need it. Why? Well, you might marry... So George Lopez. Did you know yeah. that thing about George Lopez? No. Oh, man, this is awful. It's awful. So his wife, I'm pretty sure this is, I mean, someone told me it, so it mm -hmm. could be a lie. But that, um, <laughs> that he, could, he, he needed a kidney. <laughs> it could be bad. George, if, if, you, if you're watching. It's just George Lopez, not George Clooney. Yeah. No, it's George Lopez. <laughs> yeah. But George he, Galloway. No, George Galloway. No, he wouldn't give him the earth. No. Do you know what I mean? Apart from some a disease. Or a um, mouthful. Pink eye. Pink <laughs> 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 He'd fart in your pillow and then tell you you wanted it because you it was see, part of your thing. You see him on Big Brother. Oh, when he was Everything, starting the pussy thing. How would you thing? like me oh, to be I the know. cat? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, I met him years and years ago. Uh, no, in fact, I can't tell you that story. It was one of those stories. Ah, we had the DVD special. Yeah, well. <laughs> Tell me, do you know what ambivalent means? Anyway. <laughs> and now no, for the vocabulary no, test. No, George Lopez apparently needed a kidney. Now, mm -hmm. fact check this if you're watching it, because it could be a total lie. In fact, it could be a dream, because I've had quite a lot of them recently because of my sinusitis. But he needed a kidney, <laughs> and then uh, his wife gave right. him her kidney, right? Right. And then he had an affair. <laughs> He had an affair. <laughs> like so if bad, some, if you it? give someone your, are you fact checking now? You just have no look yeah. yeah. But I was like, what's his name? Uh, Lance Armstrong. Oh God! Didn't his wife like <laughs> see him through cancer and all that sort of stuff, and then he left her after? Oh, uh, but you know, Lance Armstrong has a problem with the truth though, doesn't yeah, he? Really? Yeah. Because all that thing of no, I don't take drugs, don't yeah. take drugs. Yeah. These yeah. are just and these he are came, vitamins. He came out recently and was like, I would do it all again. I wouldn't change anything. <laughs> He's not coming in the podcast, nah. that's the thing, no. Nah. He can't, he's not hanging out with us. I nah. bet he, he doesn't know what ambivalent means. Nah, I bet he, not. he doesn't. 
No. Did you find out? Um, yeah, it, it, well, I don't know if I found out. It was in the Daily Mail. <laughs> it's, you know, yeah. it's nearly true. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah splits from his wife after 17 years despite being given a kidney and life saving off. So I don't know if he had an affair, but he certainly split from his wife. That's mental, isn't it? See if I she split had, from a kidney. Yeah. If I gave you my kidney and then you had an affair, I'd be wanting my kidney back. I think that's You're gonna cut something else off. No, well, take something else off. No, you know what? I think I would be just kind of the woman who wanted her kidney back. Because if you That's a script. <laughs> By Paolo yeah, Coelho, yeah, and yeah, the yeah, woman yeah. wanted her kidney back. Uh, I don't know why I did a vampire thing there. She's walking around with the. Uh, what did you have? What? Side of sides. Oh, yeah, I think. Side, I... Yeah, I think. <laughs> Every and morning she arises. Right, we had another that. question as well, and that one. So, Michael, that was. Who was that? That was Michael Thingy in New York. Oh, that's what I responded to. I what? said I'd do an Urban Welsh project for free as long as they gave me a sliced sausage. Tatty scone roll with plenty of brown sauce every day. And my mum was very quick to obviously see that tweet. Yeah. Because for some reason, she's constantly just sort of monitoring oh, my, my Twitter. I love your mum. Hi, I'm sorry <laughs> that your mother was called Michael. And she I she that was disturbing. And I'm sorry if that disturbed you. But you you know what? You've brought him up very well. I'm very pleased. Because me and your mum are probably about the same age. Yeah, probably. <gasps> Should I said no then? <laughs> I'm sorry. No. And that is the end of the show. Experience. No, I quite like that. I quite like that. I like that. You know, like, because in, um, back in the day when, like, when my mum was, like, 30, um, there, there used to be a thing where in Scotland when mm -hmm. a woman hit 30, she had to wear a big coat and a headscarf. Do you, you won't remember that because you're, I have shoes older than you, but, like, around the 60s, 70s, that women got to a certain age uh -huh. and they were expected to dress like old ladies. Right. So you'd be like, oh, normal person, normal person, normal person, old lady. Yeah, it's sort of Monty Python. No, it's really, it's really funny you say this because I was sitting with my mate the other day and uh -huh. I love still game, right? Oh, so do I. I he love was it here. So he was lovely. Much. Greg Hempel was I, here. I love it. And I said to my mate, though, I'm trying to get my American mate to watch mm -hmm. it and it just it doesn't translate, but I said, what age do you get to when you just start, like, as a guy? Wearing a tie every day and getting up <laughs> and getting up and being like, I'm gonna dress really well from now on, you know. I'm wearing cardigans and ties and That's shirts funny. and combing your hair over. Like, when does that happen? Do, I think, do you think it's, it's still the national service. I think it's gonna die out. You think so? Yeah, I can't see me doing it. Like bowler hats. Do you remember there used to be a time oh, when yeah. people did wear bowler bowls. Hat. Oh, my dad loved bowls. Yeah, my yeah. mum's dad. Went to the bowling club all the time. Yeah. What was your mum's dad called? Jean. <laughs> Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> but they were ambivalent about the bowls, right? Uh, oh, there's another I one mean, here. The bowls are the bowls. <laughs> Both. Uh, this is from S Jump Fifty Four. Um, is there a big Scottish contingency in the LA area, and how do you support each other? We sort of come out of like you know. You, you find one like every sort of few months. Ross King. You know, it sort of comes out of the darkness. And like, you know, the amount <laughs> comes out of the bar, like, whoa, you know, <laughs> into the sunlight. No, but there is, there's quite a lot of Scottish people I find. I find there is anyway. Do you know what we con What happens is we congregate around something fried. People fry <laughs> things, and then the Scottish people are like, oh, hello. Yeah. Hello, I feel a little nutrition. <laughs> You know, like, we, we met actually in London, Mark right. and I met in London, because I was there with my friend Rachel, who I've known since I was two, wow. in a bar in London, and she, in the middle of this really busy bar, she just went, I hear a Scottish accent. And You're like, yeah, me. <laughs> and no, it was, and she found Mark and Mark's friend and all that stuff, yeah. Wow. So she could hear it across. When was that? No, that was a, oh, it was a long ago. time ago. Fifteen yeah. years. Don't, don't, don't sound any more thrilled about it, Mark. I oh. love you, darling, but you're not getting my kidney. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, mental, isn't it? See if someone gave you your kidney. I, I mean, if you had a kidney, if someone sort of feel forever in debt to them, don't yeah. you? Yeah, you know, if someone gave you a kidney, what would you do for them? Oof. I mean. Would is. you give them your part in an Irvin Welsh movie? No, I'm an actor. <laughs> Don't give my parts away for anything. <laughs> <laughs> I hold on to them for dear life. <laughs> Pray that nothing goes wrong. 
<laughs> I know, I'm motivating what it would be like for you to have my part, but I'm not I don't know what I'd do. What's I don't know. Is he just talking about his parts? He's going to, it depends who it is, I guess. You st can I, can I stop? I'm going to stop that. Oh. It's a bit fast, doesn't it? I don't, but yeah, I know, but you'll come back though, won't you? Of course I'll come yeah, back. Yeah, come back. Th uh, that's the end of our podcast. I never really know what to say. You should tell people to comment and tell you what's good and what's not. Oh, so, if you want to ask a question, I can't guarantee we'll answer it, but um, but I'll try. You could tweet me a question at, at Lynn Fergie. Or um, or you can make a comment if you're watching this on the video. And, um, oh, you know what would be awesome? Can you share this? Thanks. All right. Mwah. See you later.